Thank you for joining the word for you today for Wednesday, the February 3rd. And it starts out as, for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That comes from Joshua 24, 15, New King James Version. So let's bow in a word of prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this time we're going to spend in the word. Uh, we pray for all those out there, Lord, that you will bless them by your word for the day, that they will uh, see something that will inspire their life decisions. So thank you and we praise you. We pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, it says, decide and stick with it. People who succeed in life set their priorities early and maintain them daily. That way they don't they do not have to keep reestablishing them. Amen. That's a good idea for two reasons. It takes the emotion out of it. If you if you're not careful, you can make a life altering decision based on a temporary situation rather than God's will. Or worse, based on your decision of your feelings by establishing your life priority. Before you have to, you can do it without your emotion manipulating and controlling you. Thus, you're more likely to set them with integrity. Joshua did that. As for one, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It makes managing your life easier. Once you nail down what is important to you, you can live based on those principles. Let's say you're a compulsive, compulsive gambler and you decide to quit. Your task then becomes ordering your life in light of that decision. That probably means not hanging out on, at the racetrack or vacationing on the strip in Las Vegas. Or say you want to build a better marriage. That may mean spending less time at work or on the golf course, or planning a week and planning a weekly date night with your spouse. It takes honesty, born in prayer, to know what your real issues are and to make good decisions according, accordingly. And it takes character and perseverance to follow through once these decisions are made. The great thing is that once you decide, then commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. He will give you, uh, that's Proverbs 16.3, he will give you the strength each day to live by your decision. Okay, there's a lot in there. Uh, and I like the first part, it says people who are successful in life set their priorities early and maintain them daily. So uh, it's well thought out and, uh, and it don't come because of emotions and that right there. Uh, and you keep them and you don't, uh, you don't have to keep changing them. These are the rules you go by and you stand by them. And you believe in them. So uh, that's what I got out of the first one. Uh, and it says, uh, base your decision on your feeling by establishing your life priorities before you have to. You can do without your emotion manipulating and controlling you. Plus, you're more likely to set them with integrity. Amen. Uh, to it that makes managing your life easier. Once you nail down what you're important to you, you can live based on these principles, right? And it takes, uh, what it takes, it takes honesty, more than prayer, to know what your real issues are and to make a good decisions according. And it takes character and perseverance to follow through once those decisions are made. And once you believe in something, stick to those decisions. Don't be wishy-washy. The great thing is that once you decide, then commit your actions to the Lord, and your plans will succeed. 
He will give you strength each day to live by your decision. So uh, well, the key lesson there is uh, pray to God and he will uh, show you the way and give you strength to, to live to make uh, to live by your decision. So uh, when you make decisions based on God's word, and, uh, you'll be successful. So thank you for this word today. And uh, thank you for listening today.